All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers, the AFC champion, taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. After all the talk, it's time for football, and here we go. Super Bowl 55 is underway. Keep playing hard. start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of three right away and it's second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah we know you know better than I he has the ability to take over a game so what do you do? Yeah I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through there's nothing but room to run. Now, well, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. Brings up third down and 13. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Operating from the gun, Herbert. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And this may be a big early turning point in this Super Bowl. They're going to go for it on fourth down here. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Right back to Cotter here on first. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On second down, it's Connor, and that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. On third down, Herbert. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll run for it with Connor. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. They run with Connor. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> to throw now on second and ten. Johnson's got it complete. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. The decision to go for it on fourth has worked out twice on this drive already. Here we go again on fourth down. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Bravo. On fourth down, Herbert. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. Time will tell if that's an interception that rattles the rookie here. First drive on the road. And you know the discussion going into the game? Centered on, okay, let's get out nice and easy. Take care of the football. We're on the road. You're a youngster. Let's not make mistakes early. But now the conversation will shift to, okay, put it behind you. Move on. Long way to go on this one. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. A nice pickup on first down. Seven yards. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. Second and three. Scott. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. They'll run on first down. Scott. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Second down now. It's Scott. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. We're scoreless after one. On third down. It's Scott. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl, as his guys are on the board first here tonight. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. This will be taken short. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Counter. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On second down, Connor looking for space. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative. But you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 16. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. On first down, Scott. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Malik Jefferson in there on the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Scott to throw on second down. Flushed out right. It's caught. Cooper. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. timing he waited just enough for that post play to develop and laid it right in there and you know what a lot of teams do when they decide to throw a post route because it's a little bit longer developing play blitz coming and down he goes how about the safety minka fitzpatrick swooping in for the sack i know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked that's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Only two yards on the carry. That's going to set up a third and long. Third and 15 to be exact. Good play. Looking to throw, Scott, and caught by Henry, and down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far, three runs, three passes, all three passes have been completions, first and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance, rely on your scouting, pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and goal. Now a give right side. 
It's Scott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Extra point try by Bailey. And it's good to make it 14 0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken very short. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Come on, set. 50 play. They'll try and run for it with counter. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he gets this one down to the 24. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes you'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. Johnson was the intended receiver. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And he'll go down at the 28. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Scott now on first down. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. To throw with Scott. Throwing again. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Now Scott, throwing on first down. Open man here is Scott, complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Bailey's kick is good. 
So we've reached halftime here in Super Bowl 55. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both teams ready after the halftime spectacle, and we are back underway in Super Bowl 55. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Well, About me. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They go again with Scott. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They push out in front further. Well, that was the fly route for a touchdown. And since he caught that one and scored it, I got to tell the story. Before the game, we were standing there. He was running deep routes, dropped one. It bounced up and just hit me right in the gut. And I said, come on, man. But there, there was no drop. Yeah, you okay now? I'm good. All right, I'm good. good. We got the ice pack up here. You're, you're just fine. What I loved about it was the subtlety of the route because everyone knows he's fast. They're going to play him for that route first and foremost. But sometimes it's a head fake. It's varying your speed off the line of scrimmage. It's giving the defensive back different angles to think about. Is he going inside? Is he going outside? And then, as you noted, he just took off past him. Oops, there he goes again. They start the drive with counter. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. A loss of two there, second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. Here we go on second and 12. Try to drop one in, but it's incomplete. Byron Jones, the free safety, able to get a hand on it and knock it away. Very difficult night for the guys on offense. They've got to be looking at each other in the huddle and on the sidelines. How are we going to find some open space to complete a pass and find open room to run? This defense all night long has squeezed down the passing lanes, made plays on the football. It's really been a thing of beauty for them. He's got to figure all day long prepping for the game. They had to have talked about it again and again. Squeeze passing lanes and we'll be in great shape. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They're going to run. Here's Connor. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Connor. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. 
Picked off by Leighton Vander Esch. Johnson, the intended target. Well, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the years. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game, go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Second and four. And he's got the connection to Cooper. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. And this one is right down Broadway. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces them to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Juju Smith-Schuster, 69 yards. And the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. From the gun, Herbert. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. 
Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Second and six. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Scott from the gun on third down. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle, 55. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull together. Operating from the gun, Scott. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They'll run with Scott. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He lost four there, and it's third down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Throwing on third and long. Scott over the middle. That's caught by Scott. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. From the left hash, this from 46. And this one is right down the middle. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. On first and ten, Herbert. He finds his man, Johnson. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones and a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run here with Connor. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. To throw on second down, Herbert. And now here is another interception. Picked off, Byron 
Jones. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. Finds an opening past the 40. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. Then when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. Scott now on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Scott. 10 yards on the pickup there, it'll be second down. He's played a great game, but continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish, because strategy would tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Just shy of the 30. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And Super Bowl 55 down to the final two minutes. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. So we got man, man, man. Check three, check three, check three. Slam, slam, slam. Six three. Six down. On the carry, this is Scott. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. interception will go on the record of the quarterback but as a receiver you've got to understand where you are in the field middle portion you know it's going to come in hot square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch trying to shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw 
And got his man complete. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Juju Smith-Schuster, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. What we got? What we got? What do? They'll look to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. And the Cowboys are able to recover. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. He's got the first down here inside the 30, and he gets this one down to the 24. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Now Scott. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. On third down, it's Scott. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. And the Dallas Cowboys will hoist the Lombardi Trophy. They are the kings of the NFL. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.